Oh, little Frankie, I would never do anything to put you in any harm's way. I love you so much, and I love being your mother. Hey, if I gave you this money, would you let me steal your kid for a TikTok video? You want me to let you borrow my kid so you can film a TikTok of you kidnapping my kid? I'll make you with your money. You... For TikTok. For money? For, for TikTok. I mean... Did you know that when scrolling through YouTube, if you chose to pick videos that were in your suggested bar, you're bound to be met with some extreme or controversial topics? Even sometimes just the title. Come on guys, how else do you think children find videos of Peppa Pig using an AK-47 on her little brother George? While it may be true that YouTube and the media push us to the clickable, is going about committing crimes and inducing trauma on children worth your views? TikToker at boy Remy seems to think so. Hello everybody, my name is Heidi McSmarty and welcome back to the channel. Where today we are going to be talking about a TikToker named Remy who I came across about a week ago on TikTok just through scrolling. And apparently he produces content where he snatches children in public. problems with what this kind of content is um, teaching people as well as, you know, doing, we're going to talk about that today. But before we get into it, I just want to announce that I am bringing back my Find the Emoji series, so um, look for this emoji in the video somewhere here today, and you might be shouted up in my next video. And if you're somebody who's looking for immediate social contact slash interaction because you haven't left your house in about 24 hours, join my Discord. There's a link in the description down below. Over the past few years, we've definitely grown more progressive on the internet when it comes to what we're okay with watching, what we think is alright, versus what's not right. A big example is that is Shane Dawson. People thought he was funny back in the 2000s, now he's just racist, a pedophile. Today I want us to break down what this content can do to children, um, how it affects everybody, and also how it affects Remy. Without further ado, let's get into some very standard basic psychology. After an experience like sexual assault, disaster, or a traumatic event, the child begins to show symptoms from said event. The factors that may decide their symptoms can vary from how quickly the child was brought to safety to the control over them that was maintained in the household. The psychiatric symptoms that the child may develop do stem from the list that I just showed you. While we might think that these symptoms just develop, it does depend on the factors in which things occurred in those situations. Regardless if this content is scripted, it's, it's still not appropriate. It's just... The socialization process as well as experiencing some sort of traumatic event in a young person's life can affect them later in life. It is significant to their growth and their development, and when something interrupts that pattern, things can happen. As they get older, emotional regulation is harder to control, and shame can interfere with functioning independently. So at the time, if these symptoms are not addressed, or if coping mechanisms are not introduced, um mental illness. Despite being banned once already, most of these snatching videos then continued with different children, but also these two specific kids that are seen throughout other snatching content that is still up on his account. I know you all thought I was gone, right? But sorry to disappoint you. I am not gone and I am staying. I am Big D Randy. Your kids aren't safe, bro. I watched a part of this series that he claims is a social experiment and listened to a toddler scream at the top of her lungs after being picked up by this random man while the children in the other videos do not seem to be fearful of him. So, was it really all scripted? There are parts upon his account where he claims this is a social experiment. This isn't a social experiment. You're observing kids and how they react to being kidnapped. They are bound to freak out. What are you... What are you testing? <laughs> Justifying by saying it's an experiment is just wrong scientifically and ethically. You're just doing something to get a wow factor out of millions of people. You're not trying to advance psychology. Many of the videos for these Snatching Kids series are no longer up after Remy faced a lawsuit and had to pull them down. And when he filmed a quick little apology video, his excuse was that he just wanted to go viral. Addressing this video is to all my followers. As you can see, I've been hit with a lawsuit and um, all my videos are anyone who has the videos of the kids that I've been snatching please I would like you to delete it from your page and as I will be deleting mine in the next few hours I just want to let you all know that I'm sorry to the parents 
and to everyone whose kids I've taken and posted on my TikTok. I just wanted to go viral and that's why I did it. So I'm really sorry. So let's move on to how this can affect other people that are witnessing and experiencing these videos. Like mentioned in my Gypsy Rose video, which also has lots to do about child abuse, endangerment, trauma, the latter, the idea of showing younger people and exposing them to this sort of content isn't healthy but because they'll go out of their way to do it because they think it will make them famous. If it doesn't make our world a better place, why do we tolerate it? Especially on a platform riddled with sticky fingered kids who want to watch Skibbity Toilet all day long, why would we teach them that kids Kidnapping is funny haha -ha, and not funny illegal. After the lawsuit, Remy still claims to stream with these kids in his background that he kidnapped doing god knows what dancing? I I don't know. And I really think it's worse if these happen to be his kids. Cause dear God, who is letting this happen? We know how the internet feels about parents profiting off their children. Personally, I don't really care if this is staged content or not. I think the concept of it is ridiculous. I don't consider it content at all, regardless if it's staged. Generating a wow factor following when you literally post content of you pretending to kidnap children. It's horrible. I cannot stress how stupid it makes you look, especially in the eyes of most normal living people. I believe that prank videos have gone too far these days and definitely need to be dialed down. Stop pretending to cheat on your boyfriend. Stop pretending that you're poor and need money from people. And stop pretending to kidnap kids for clout. And you guys might be asking now, how does this affect Remy? With the way that he's acted and the content he's posted, the internet isn't simply gonna like him. The trolls will follow him for funsies and watch these kids scream and whine and cry as they're being pulled away from their loving parents. People don't want to watch extreme content if they find out that it's made up. It loses its wow factor when you're pretending that you're committing crimes for views. You also show no empathy for the children regarding the case whatsoever. Do you understand the psychological trauma that can develop within these children based on these videos you wanted to make for fine TikTok money? I really don't think it's just on Remy. Um, the parents who allow this to happen are also the problem. I feel like I feel like the generation of parents we have now, like the up-and-coming generation of parents, um, because they still have like technology age mindset where you know people can get famous off of anything why don't i just exploit my children and make money off of them and then they can grow up and we'll watch their little journey all over youtube and it'll be so cute like that's your kid that's your kid who might later in life get kidnapped and be unprepared for the situation or think that it's not as big of a deal because she was taught that oh i'm five years old and this guy's gonna run up behind me because we're just acting there is a severe problem with filming extreme content that isn't real and the child endangerment is the big problem here. Huh. Also, the individual. I don't see the appeal to this content at all. I don't think it's I don't think it's entertaining for him to go and film his little videos and say, let's go. Personally, I am grateful that that lawsuit occurred and that, that less of his content is more exposed to children as well as just random people. I didn't want to see that on my timeline, but here we are. It's a video for you. You're welcome. I'm always interested to hear what you guys think about these situations down below, so feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget your timestamp. Go, go find the emoji. And again, Again, I'll say it. Discord is up. Join. It's a fun place. As well, if there's any way I can improve my channel or my content, please comment down below any critiques, feedback. I do appreciate it. And while I do appreciate it, I appreciate you guys way more. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, did? Oh, you're still here. Um, did you did you see this video? It's pretty. It's a pretty nice video. I mean, like, I did a really good job. <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to do my own or nothing, but like, it's pretty good. You should, you should click on it. You should click on it. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. You're still here?